Hey guys, welcome back to How To's and Reviews. This is my BFF, and this is after a long day of baby wearing, and I just wanted to go through what I have and what works well for me and where, and so you can see this packing video for three kids, eight, four, and one, and what I bring. I bring everything in a BFF, including my Ergo. It's inside here, so, and it all fits. Let's get started. Here is the mommy pocket. In here, I have um, quite a bit of stuff, and I actually put all of my mommy stuff in here. This is the only bag that I solely have mommy stuff in the mommy pocket, which is really cool. So I have some mommy needs and pens in the sunglass pocket. I have my keys in the front, just kind of um, thrown in there. I wish I used the key fob, but I just don't. It just, I just, just one of my downfalls. So I have some uh, chapstick in the front pockets, two chapsticks actually, in this just one front pocket. Here is a medium set piece, and I use this as my wallet right now. So I have some cash and my cards just like thrown about in there, a checkbook. Um, here is a coin purse in pixie dust uh, with coins in it. And I find that this is actually working really well for me right now. I used to use a big B major, but I really like this um, where I can just put my phone in there too, and it's really easy. It fits nicely in this pocket. I have a small set piece in First Lady, and this has mommy needs in it. It has Tylenol and hair ties and these little things of deodorant and a nail file and nail polish and anything you would need for like mommy stuff. Not First Aid, that is in a different package. Um, and here I have, oh, this is my son's Obicu pen. So I guess it's not all mommy needs, but um, that fits really nicely in there and I will ever hardly need it, or never need it, <laughs> actually. Uh, hopefully never need it. So that is there in the front. Now we have this nice um, pocket in the front here that is for, um, to keep anything that you need, like cell phone or camera, anything nice, It's it's got this like nice lining on it. So um, my cell phone, iPhone 6, uh, not the big one, so just regular six, not six plus. Uh, fits really nicely in there. And then on the sides, I have a water bottle and I normally have a sippy cup on this side. So let's open up the big pocket. And here I have a ton of stuff. So this is a fuel cell in Charcoal Roses and it has my Ergo in it. And so I have done an Ergo video on how to fit an Ergo in a fuel cell. I will link it uh, right now on top of this and it's really easy. I always put my ergo in a fuel cell and it just totally works. So here I have, um, now this was vertically packed. See, so here I have um, a couple items vertically packed but it's pretty easy um, to have it just vertically right next to the fuel cell. I have a package of wipes and I have a large set piece in Dancing Dahlias, and this has snacks in it. It has a Medi case with some rice rusks in it. It has some granola bar, some apple sauces, and some um, Stretch Island Fruit Company fruit strips. And I usually have like a Capri Sun or two in here too. I really like a large set piece for three kids for snacks because they end up eating a lot at every outing. Um, oh, I have a random ball in there. And I have in this front zipper pocket, I have some of these just Chick-fil-A books that you get from the kids meals at Chick-fil-A. And I usually carry around like little toys like that um, because they're just easy to throw away if you need to. So I love the BFF's internal organization. You don't really need a lot of separate pouches and stuff. There are four pockets in the back. I put diapers in the back too. I usually carry around five to six diapers with me. It looks like I used a couple, so I have uh, four here. And then on the left side, I have this little pouch. This is my eating out pouch. Uh, it has some boogie wipes in it, a disposable spoon, some of those um, mats you put on the table for babies. Um, so they can eat off the table and that um, fits nicely in uh, this is that like nine piece set that you get at TJ Maxx or Ross stuff like that and they they're just a travel set uh, they come with nine of them or seven of them I think it's like 12.99 
Uh, I have a package of tissues and um, some sunscreen stick. And then I also have sunscreen on this side. Um, my youngest has sensitive skin, so I have the copper tone sensitive skin um, on this side. And then I use the sports stick for the big kids. On the other side, I have a pair of socks for everybody. We just went to like one of those indoor trampoline places. So I have <laughs> socks, but it is good. I usually do keep a pair of socks uh, for each of the kids. I'm not really sure why, but I always tend to need them. Um, so the diapers I already talked about. And then there are two zipper pockets in the back here. In one of them, I keep my first aid kit. It's in a small set piece from the original set. This is Lotus Lullaby. It has um, stickers and alcohol pads and sting stuff, gauze pads, band-aids, all you would ever need for um, a first aid. And then I do have a car bag that has a larger first aid kit in it. And then this one has nothing. In the back here, I usually keep my day planner, which is like an eight and a half by 11 pad. So I don't keep my normal, the normal pad that goes with it. I keep a light pad from a hobo bee. Um, I find that it doesn't really matter to my son whether or not he's on the Hobo B or the BFF pad. He doesn't mind and it fits so much better on my back with my day planner in it if I just have the light pad in it. So that seems to work better for me. I usually just use a Hobo B pad for every bag that I'm using. It just seems to be a little lighter. So there you go. Here's a shot of the inside If there's the two pockets here for your pictures and stuff. There's one long pocket, four pockets in the inside, and then two zipper pockets on the back. It really has some great internal organization. You really don't need a whole lot of extra pouches. Um, there is the BFF. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Please hit like and subscribe if you want more how-tos and reviews. See you next time. Bye.